Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to walk through the basic malware reverse engineering room from tryhackme.com. Now this is a easy room compared to uh, other rooms. Uh, let me just hide the uh, flags but download the challenge and unzip and then put this uh, exe or challenge document to Ghidra. So Ghidra is a advanced uh, static analysis tool. It can also be used as a debugger so it also does maybe dynamic analysis but we will use only the static part of the Ghidra today so so I have already uploaded the uh, strings 1.exe strings 2 and strings 3 as you can see the first part when you uh, upload or import an exe or a uh, executable to the Ghidra what you want to look for is the functions and then the important one is the entry function and when you double click that it will lead you to here and here is a basic explanation of the function or what it does as you can see void entry void so for starters and then it uh, assigns or creates a variable called lp text so char and then lp text means uh, there is a character created and named as lp text and then lp text equals and if i hash of the flag and here we get our first flag so this is very easy and here you can also see on the left hand side push ex and then string underscore flag can i make it any more obvious if you hover over your mouse there you will see that the flag is can i make it any more obvious so that was the uh, first and easy one. Let's go to the second example, strings2.exe. So here, so we are still in the, for the strings2.exe, we are in the entry function. And in the entry function, we see that there is a lot of undefined local to be, there are, there are a lot of variables in this way. And some characters, and if we go then, I changed some of the encodings here, but the rest is like this. Local C equals 0x uh, for E. That means in uh, ASCII, it's N. So what you will do is just change all the encodings to char encoding and you will see the flag. So basically it stores these variables in the stack and then uh, in the uh, in the next function or variable it creates the hash value of local to C but local to C is actually the combined version of these strings so here our flag is flag the symbol and the stack dash string dash r dash best dash strings so the second one is they use this method so changing variables the last one is also an easy example, but it shows you different techniques that an attacker can use. So here, this is also the uh, main entry and Ghidra also uh, analyzed all the code and created us uh, like a high level understanding of the code on the, of the assembly. And here, main function and then create some characters and then some variables blah blah and then there is the md5 so it creates md5 value of local 9c and then it creates other variables before uh, the low string a instance we see that there is a uh, there is a variable called local 8 uh, local underscore 8 which is equal to 0x110 and and in the low string a we see that this 0x110 is loaded into this variable local 4a4 so if I click 0x110 it will lead me to the place where it is loaded and here it's a function and it does what the word ptr user dll user 22.dll low string a and on the right side we can see our third flag which is flag resources dash r dash r dash popular dash for dash malware so this was a quick simple explanation of the basic malware reverse engineering from try hack me thanks for watching i'll see you next time